Hey guys, let's cook lunch for the family. Today I am cooking ginisang munggo or sautéed mung beans. So let's boil the mung beans first in water to soften. And while waiting for it to soften, let us prepare the spices for this dish. We start by slicing up some garlic. Then we slice up some onions. Then the tomatoes. And finally, the ginger. I, for meat, I had some leftover pork adobo that I will mix it in with this dish. But you can use any meat that you have available. It could be chicken, pork, beef, whatever you have available. Um, I had some leftover pork adobo, so that's what I will use to mix in with this dish. Or if you don't want meat, you don't have to put any meat on it. So here are all the ingredients that I just cut up. And also here's the leftover pork adobo that I already cut up as well. Here it is. And for my greens, I'm using spinach. And if you are familiar with spinach, they significantly reduce in size once cooked. So I am putting a whole packet of spinach here. We start by putting oil in a hot pan. And I always saute the garlic first, always. We just stir that until it's brown. Then followed by the ginger. Then we add in the onions. And then it's followed by the um, tomatoes.
Then I added in the leftover pork adobo for the meat flavor. And the meat is already cooked, so I don't really have to cook it that long. And at this point, I add in the pre-cooked mung beans that are already soft. I then season it with salt and I added ground black pepper to it. Then I added in the spinach. We don't cook the spinach too long because it turns brown and it also loses its nutrient value so uh, we want to boil that for about maybe 30 seconds we just mix in the spinach and spinach is rich in vitamin A and vitamin C so it's a good vegetable to use but you can of course use whatever greens you have pet chai kangkong whatever you have that is green um, it always complements the mungo dish some people don't put greens in it but I always prefer to have greens on my mungo dish or ginisang mungo So about 30 seconds of that and then it should be done. So here is the cooked ginisang mungo. It is perfect with rice, steamed rice and some meat dish for a balanced meal. And I hope you like this video. Please hit like and subscribe for more videos. Bon appetit and thank you for watching.